Welcome back to Moon Crash, where we're bleeding, we're poisoned, there's a moon shark at the door, and we've got seven minutes to both stop our bleeding and uh, find the antidote. I need to get over here because I believe, I believe, oh fuck, where is it over here? One of these is... I think it's this one. I'm praying that it's this one because I only have one chance at this. I cannot run. If I run, I will bleed to death. That's fire. Fuck. That's locked. This run might be fucked. Why is it locked? Oh, fuck me. Yeah, this, this run was fucked from the start. Eh. That's unfortunate. I think what's even more unfortunate is this run may be completely scrapped because Batia was holding the remainder of the... Um, of the uh time loops okay we're gonna actually i wish i could see how much time is on the um on the corruption timer. Um, I... Am I even gonna buy... Is this just a waste? It might just be a waste. It's 1700. I'm just gonna skip the rest. Um... Fuck it. I, I, I don't think we're even gonna... Oh yeah, corruption's completely fucked. And why am I starting here? I am so confused. Why am I here? At least maybe I can get my points back by by scanning. I don't want to scan that. I want to scan the moon shark. Unless the moon shark has nothing to scan. Oh, that's a tentacle nest. Fuck. Oh, this place is completely fucked up. I don't actually know if this is just the spawn state of this area or if... Yeah, there it is. Whatever, I got... 400 back. Slight waste, but... Huh. Okay. Right. Claire is the fifth person. Okay. Um... So I haven't done anyone's story objective. 
I know I am just like I'm looking at my listen I, I've talked about this before in this and other games I don't like spending the resources that I'm given because I don't know especially for something like this where a run can just be bad like if if I'm gonna dump 50,000 points into equip pre-equipping characters to have the most successful run possible I want to be as prepared as possible right I don't want it to be the first run the first time I see like a story objective or something I'd like to know the path I need to go I'd like to know what my objectives are I'd like to know if I'm going to get poisoned and what I need to be, be prepared for like this isn't even because this is a game within a game like narratively speaking inside the narrative the meta narrative of this game there's no reason why I as the operator or as the uh, the Chasma operative shouldn't be have the like foresight of knowing what happens and therefore being able to maneuver it deftly like that's the whole point of this is that narratively I'm supposed to know what happens already so yes I could ensure a relatively successful run if I just spent all of the points to make it happen it's not it still doesn't guarantee it, which is all the more frustrating because if I dump a quarter or half my points into a run and the, the run scraps and I don't make that because I'm not making those points back, it just means I'm just going to have to grind more points. Um, I mean, I've discovered everything. So at least for for a final run, Joan has to go first. I don't think there's any two ways about that. Joan has too many key skills um, like the dismantling and the repair that somebody else needs or somebody needs to scope the place and then she needs to clear it. Batia has more ability to um, to do combat than Joan, but Joan is clearly second. So for a final run where everybody escapes, it's probably it's I it's it depends. It could be Batia first. It could be Joan first. I think we're gonna have more information at some point that should lead us one direction or the other. Um, the problem is we're trying to do multiple things at a time here, um, because we're trying to do the story objectives right now in order to unlock everyone. Um, we haven't even unlocked Riley's story objective because she still needs a couple of neuromods in order to get the, I think it's like three or five, in order to get the ability that she needs just to upload the consciousness. Um, so for the purposes of story runs, maybe Riley needs to go earlier in the run well, it, it, it depends what my objective is. Like, I started this last run with the intention, the genuine focused intention of having a complete story run for Joan. I'm still fucking pissed that that one good run I had with Joan ended with uh, the, the guy just being absent for some reason. The corpse disappearing or whatever. So, I think I need to stop trying to do multiple objectives per run and just be okay with resetting the simulation once I've completed something. Because Joan's thing takes some more doing. There's a lot of navigation that needs to happen, and there's a lot of combat 
probably, most likely, that needs to happen. Um, Riley... Uh, the, pro the problem is that Riley is not that combat capable, especially not upgraded. And so I'm wary of sending her first. I think it's a mistake, though. I'm realizing that it's a mistake to try and do a Joan run only to throw Riley in at Corruption 4 or 5. Because at that point, unless everything's been, like, cleared out, it's kind of a bigger issue. Um, no, I don't want to quit. I just, I, part of me wants to go back out to the, um, just go back out to the, my little, uh, studio apartment in the, in space and just walk around in circles for a minute. I wish I could do that. Um, so I think maybe I need to ignore Jones story for now I think I need to prioritize either getting Riley off the station and getting her upgrades done or doing Batia's story to unlock Claire um, or both uh, depending on how a run goes um I think maybe I should make Batia go first, try and make it a speed run, um, and then take Riley with the hopes that we're only at Corruption 2 or 3 when we finish with Batia. What's the downside? The downside is that I'm not, I'm not going to have the equipment... If we're doing a speed run with Batia, we're not picking up all of the gear, and we may not even escape with Batia via. Um... Well, no, we're gonna be so Batia. It still probably makes the most sense to do to take Batia out via the the mass launcher or whatever it's called, because he will be down in that area for his story objective. Plus, he comes with free shotgun and shotgun shells and oh it's it's this balancing act is there there's a little too much going on is sort of how i feel about it um but i think i should just go with batia and then see if i can however that goes try and make it reasonably quick and then try and do a completion uh a, a, an unlock completion with um with riley if there's time i need to not prioritize that i need to prioritize getting something done not trying to get everything done and ultimately getting nothing done other than you know grinding out more points because that's not really getting me progress uh i think i'm going to take a little break from this um and i'll i'll we'll start a new run when i when i return ah <sighs> What a world. What a moon.